I'm gonna kill you. And we haven't even started. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. If you, if it is your first time here, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because I am married to this and you need to watch me so you can feel sorry I mean, for you're me. married to this. What did you mean with this? Today we are having Lucky our budget meeting. Now. If you saw our previous video, we just went over the expenses for, what month was it? September. We open our budget meeting by coloring off the amount of debt that we have paid off on our chart. Then we sit down and we discuss the expenses that we had for the previous month and I will go ahead and link to that video up here in the eye in the sky. And you're like, where's that? What are you talking about? I'm gonna link it to the corner of the room. <laughs> so we did a review of our expenses for the month of September and Mauricio was surprisingly calm and collected and didn't yell at me once. He did, however, bring a sword to the meeting. Now we are going to go over our upcoming expenses for the month of October. Hour. Huh? Yes, it is gonna be another hour. This is real life. This is our budget. Suck it up, buttercup. Anyway, so we are gonna go over every dollar and go over our upcoming expenses and you are gonna get to see us go through the actual budget. Let me open every dollar. So our utilities, can you check and see how much our cell phone bill is gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be pretty high because the new iPhone 10 is... So we're not getting an iPhone. No new iPhones. Your next bill is ready, 188.77. So we have 188.77 now for the cell phone bill. And then 270 for the storage unit. Car wash service is zero. If it remains zero this it month, then zero. I will delete it out. I have a hundred dollars for gas. Do you? How much legitimately do you think we should put in? For Leave gas. it for a hundred well, in case we go and need gas for. No. I'd rather. Okay. How much? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. And but you need to put an oil change. Okay. So your car needs an oil change. How much is that? Uh, about. 40. I think it's. Well, I'll put in 50 for that, and, okay. and then I think that's how much I put in every month. I can go back and look. Gas. It depends on where you go. Gas is only good every 10. Uh, can you check the Easy Pass account? It's, it's not going to get you. It's not going to get you. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, insurance and tax, that's 159 for my for our renter's policy, 12 my life insurance, your life insurance. This is October, right? So in October... We do have to pay the car taxes. And then Melina's category, this is where we need to talk. What before and what are we paying? Do we have, I, before and after care, the whole reason we pay before and after, even though we don't have to have her in either one of them right now, once you are in, you have to stay in because it's super competitive. And so we've got her in it, so we need to keep her in it. So we have to use it. I know that we had that conversation a long time ago. Oh, I thought you were asking me that. Why it's five ninety? Huh? I thought you were asking me why it was five hundred and ninety dollars. Why? Why we had it if we didn't really need it? Okay, Melina's birthday party. The leftover from the package we got is two eighty nine. Okay. I'm putting in a hundred dollars for extra pizzas because we'll have to get extra pizzas. It comes with three pizzas and sodas, but three pizzas they estimate. For the kids, that's 15 slices. That's more than one pizza. One and a half pieces, pizzas just for the kids. Yeah. So we're going to have to get a couple of extra pizzas. Do you think $100 is enough for that? It should. Better be. Okay. Um, we agreed on $60 for Melina's school bucks for her lunch. That's a month. That's a month. Day. That's breakfast every day and then lunch one day a week. Do you want to check and see how much she's used so far? She's used 20 bucks since she started. So 60 bucks might end up being more than she actually uses, but for until we get used to this, I think it's better to have too much than none enough. 
So I did put in the $50 for the miscellaneous <laughs> expenses for Melina. <laughs> and $0 for new underwear for Mauricio. Do you really need new underwear? I just don't have anything to say. I mean, I think the video was pretty clear, but it's okay. I mean, it's just... This is your final chance. This is your final chance. What are you? Do you want underwear? What are you kicking me? Stop kicking me. <laughs> I'm not kicking you. Ow! <laughs> My feet are over here. Ow! <laughs> okay, no, okay, no, I don't need. Ah, anything. Okay, I don't need anything. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And then Melina's birthday is done. We should not have another scent to cover, except down below we have her birthday cake. So this is the new cash category that we are doing. We're going to do the cash envelope system like we did before, when we did it before. I'm putting $250 in for groceries for us, mostly lunches and breakfasts, and then when we are getting stuff to make dinner, that, okay. that kind of stuff. 100, 100 each, yeah, 20 a week. Okay. Dry cleaner is 40. Okay. Um, your haircuts are 25. Uh, yes, with tip, yeah. Is it 25 with tip? Yeah. Okay. Um, Melina's birthday cake, I'm putting $25 in there. It's it's probably, if we get it at Harris Teeter, it's going to be like 17 If we get it at Wegmans, it's going to be right around there too. But with tax, I figured 25 is a nice round number and whatever's left over, I can put back into the grocery budget. Um, Sally Beauty, I need to get hair coloring stuff. And then this category is new. For the weekends. The family outings category. I'm going to actually. You got to include that in your video. I'm going to do. I, I think what I'm going to do is a whole video on family outings and why we're adding it as a budget line item. That's a good idea. Approved. Approved. I didn't realize you had to approve my videos. Okay. Then I created a category called recurring and annual fees. And so our iTunes, you were going to look at the iCloud. You haven't done that yet. No. If you do it between now and when the bill kicks in before the bill, then maybe we won't have to pay about $9.99. But really valid, determine if we're actually using it. Don't get rid of it just to get rid of it. Weight Watchers, $44.95. And I would like to state for the record, I have lost seven pounds on diet butt so far. Good job. Seven? No, almost eight. What are you staring at? Your eyes. They're blue. Always been blue. Uh, Twenty-five dollars for Skype in case we need that, and then we don't have Amazon Prime or every dollar. And then my YouTube expenses. I just remembered that this. Okay. So morning fame is new. So. My YouTube expenses are what they are. I definitely bring in way more than my expenses, though, for the month. Um, neurology, I have a $255.59 bill. And then my copay, assuming I have um, an appointment this month to get my injection, it's okay. going to be $35. I haven't been for almost, almost six months because the injections have lasted this long. So... Um, because they over, they, there was an overlap and I had floppy baby head syndrome the last injections and okay. so I stalled on that. I created a work expenses category and that's going to be work lunches out and Mauricio parking. Okay, work lunches out. Why? We have low money. We're averaging about 60 to $65 a month on debit cards. Well, we need to stop doing that then. We need to get back on track. So leaving money right there is not going to help. It's only going to encourage I, uh, that spending. So I would just get out and we just get used to our not say no. Okay, if you're willing to do that. So I put in $22 for parking for you. Two That'll times. be two times in the month. I'm going to be off for a whole week, but that shouldn't affect... You know, if I, if when I drive, if I leave really early, I can go and park around the world and don't have, and don't have to pay. Well, that's up to you. Then we won't need to spend that $22. Well. But if you do, you do. and So at least it's there. And then our sinking funds are exactly the same as they are every month. You're cool with that? Yeah. 
Why are you turning away from me like because you're I'm trying tired. to Because I'm tired. I've been to you know the comfy chair, Mike. I'm sorry, would you like no, this chair? No, go ahead. Um, so I created... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, go ahead. I, I saw I see it's a sinking fund. I saw our anniversary and I was like, That's eh. our sinking fund. Is that fund. your boyfriend's anniversary? Because it ain't ours. That's a sinking fund for I next died, year. So we'll have about twelve hundred dollars and we can either put that We're to doing death. the uh, the month of not online shopping, Amazon zero. Woohoo! Yes, zero that. for Amazon this month. Okay, and then we have a hundred dollars for our cushion. That should be fine. You see, going out for lunch if it's really strict, it should come out of the dumbass. It's not a new category, honey, because then if you get a new category for every time we're gonna have the money, then we're not doing the thing right. The thing is about saying no. I said it Friday, I said no to the guys. And so I went out yesterday. I don't need to go out to this. I know, but it's Friday. And I was like, I know, but uh, maybe next time. That's what I said. They invited me on Thursday. And Thursday I went. And Friday I said no. Okay. And then to debt, we are paying to debt $5,714.11. Mm -hmm. We're going to close out our budget meeting by taking the bean jar. We have two bean jars. We have one bean jar that is the amount that we owe on our largest loan and then we have one bean jar is the amount that we paid on our largest loan and each bean represents a hundred dollars and today we are moving 33 beans to the paid so you will no, be again, alerted i was just not feeling it do it again come on let's see okay why don't hey, you do it you do it what? do the subscribe bell notification hey guys if you're new to my wife's channel, please make sure to subscribe and do whatever click you think that you click on to subscribe. And then uh, the other thing, the bell thing, if you want to be notified whenever she uh, uploads a video or posts a video on Facebook. Facebook? YouTube. No. <laughs> do that. You do it. What did you do? I was playing with this. I pretended to be a pirate and I hit my eye with it. Would you like to close out the video, honey? Yeah, yeah, I can. No. Uh. <laughs> Would you like to close the video if you're new? You don't have to say anything in particular. You can say anything you want, honey. Si esta es tu primera vez en el canal, por favor, suscríbete en el botoncito abajo y aplica y antes también clic a la a la campanita para cada vez que ya subo un video puedas ver una notificación y no te pierdas ningún video. Did you just say entre piernas? No. That's what I heard. Let me do that again. Except that's not how you close out a video. That's how you open the video. So what is it close? No. No, let me do that. If you're new to my channel, click on her big laughing face. Ah. Uh, si eres nuevo en el canal, dale click a la cara redonda feliz de la señorita okay. aquí. Y también make sure that I... <laughs> <laughs> Si eres nuevo en el canal, asegúrate de suscribirte para que no te pierdas ni un video de la señorita. Y también asegúrate de hacerle clic a la campanita para que no te pierdas ninguno de los videos que vienen. Thank you. Gracias. And what he said was, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos. So you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one. And this video right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Get out!